Hello everyone, welcome to ASR, African Stories Realized. This is our review of How to Ruin Love Season 1, The Proposal, a spin-off of Netflix's How to Ruin Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Episode 1 begins with an introduction to Zuleka, an actress whose character is about to be killed off from the show that she had been on for many seasons. We are then introduced to her boyfriend, Cariso, who lives with his recently divorced sister, Gatleo. The couple seemed madly in love, until one night on a double date with their friends, Beauty and Zbu from the original show, Cariso revealed he wasn't planning on marrying Zolega anytime soon. Following the date, the couple had another confrontation before Zolega returned home, where she discovered that her best friend, Amate, had made herself at home. Zolega confided in her bestie, revealing that Cariso had been wasting her time. However, Amatle tried to calm her down, insisting that Cariso wasn't a cheater. Zolega and Amatle then attended a birthday party at Cariso's place, where Cariso's parents seemed to recognize Amatle, who later disappeared with Cariso during the party. It was then revealed that Cariso's father had mortgaged out the family home and missed some payments, with the sheriff crashing the party in an attempt to collect. However, it turned out that he was a fan of the character Zoleka played on TV. Cariso's father was able to buy some time from the sheriff by begging Zoleka to take a few pictures with him. Unfortunately, she abandoned the pot and ended up burning the pup, which wasn't coming along too well anyway. Following the party, Zoleka couldn't get a hold of Cariso, but Gatlero revealed that her brother had gone to Durban with Zbu for the weekend. An angry Zoleka tried but failed to get hold of Cariso, driving her crazy. She decided to go to Durban where she found her boyfriend on her knees proposing to Amatle in front of his family and friends. Zoleka went crazy, attacking Amatle and unleashing a furious tirade on Cariso and his entire family, revealing all their secrets. The episode ends with a shocking revelation that the entire proposal was planned as a surprise for Zoleka. Amatle was just standing in for the rehearsal. Episode 2 picks up with an embarrassed Zolega regretting her actions upon realizing that Cariso had planned to surprise her with the proposal. Cariso and Amatle refused to hear Zolega out as she scrambled trying to fix the damage she had done. Cariso's family was left divided as they argued about the secrets that Zolega revealed including the fact that Cariso had recently sold his app for 33 million rands. A heartbroken Cariso rejected Zolega's apology before kicking them all out of his hotel room. Meanwhile, Cariso's cousin had shared a clip of Zolega's disastrous proposal on social media, which immediately jeopardized Cariso's multi-million rand deal. Back at home, Cariso's parents tried to convince Catlero to get back with her ex, Stelo, who she's still been hooking up with but isn't interested in having kids with. Meanwhile, at Zolega's job, they revealed to her that Cariso had requested that they give her some time off so he could pull off the proposal, and that she wasn't actually going to be left off the next season of their show. Zolega then made her way to Cariso's place in an attempt at a surprise apology, which failed dismally when Cariso revealed that he had lost his big deal and asked Zolega to leave. A resilient Zolega with the help of Cariso's youngest sister, Umpile, then set up a meeting between the two families, where Cariso would finally get to meet Zolega's father, who is a prominent judge. The families were complete opposites but tried to be cordial with each other. However, Things took a bad turn when Zolega revealed to everyone that Cariso had lost his multi-million dollar deal. Cariso's family once again became concerned with losing their home as Zolega's father forbade her from continuing her relationship with Cariso, who wouldn't be able to support her. Cariso then went out for drinks with Katero, where they bumped into his sister's friend Mapula, who is also his ex. The following morning, Zolega arrived at Cariso's place and the episode ends with Zolega going crazy as she discovers that Cariso's ex Mapula spent the night at his place. Episode 3 picks up with Zolega having a full meltdown at Cariso's place, who wasn't home at the time. Cariso returned home where he revealed to Zolega that nothing happened between him and Mapula. The couple then made the impulsive decision to elope and get married without informing their parents. Zolega immediately went to Amatle's place of work where she apologized to her and requested help to pull off their secret wedding. They were able to plan a venue, but before the happy couple was able to make it to the altar, Zolega's wedding dress was damaged. Meanwhile, Cariso's mother went behind her husband's back and made a deal with her sister-in-law to help them pay the mortgage. They agreed to keep they agreed to keep it a secret from Cariso's father, but his sister wasted no time rubbing it in his face and throwing her weight around the house. The show then flashed back to three years ago when Zolega and Cariso first met. Cariso delivered some wine to her on Valentine's Day, they started flirting and ended up together. In present day, 
Both families had found out about Zoleka and Gamiso's plan to get married and raced to the wedding venue, where there was a confrontation between the families and a fight between Gariso and Zoleka's ex. In the aftermath of the big fight, Zoleka and her dad went back and forth with her ultimately kicking him out of the wedding venue. Meanwhile, Gariso's family also tried to convince him to dump Zoleka until she arrived and convinced him to stand up to them. Gariso told his family that he's marrying Zoleka whether they like it or not. The episode ends with everybody taking their places at the wedding as Amatla arrives at the altar to tell Gariso that Zoleka had changed her mind. Episode 4 picks up with a confrontation between Zoleka and Gariso, where he questions why she left him at the altar. Zoleka revealed that she had received a notification that Gariso had withdrawn some money from their joint savings account. Gariso explained that he needed the money to help his family pay their mortgage. Despite Zolega trying to apologize for spoiling things again, Gariso came to the realization that their relationship isn't working, despite their love for each other, immediately dumping Zolega. On Valentine's Day, Zolega had a breakdown at work and went to her dad's place, where they argued before reconciling. Her father came around and they invited themselves to Gariso's place in an attempt to fix things. However, Gariso was nowhere to be found. His friend Amo caused a panic when he reported that Gariso had been arrested, only to find out later that he had misread the message in a moment of comedic gold that the show had built up to perfection. Eventually, Zolega figured out where Gariso might be, and when they arrived, she made a passionate plea in front of Gariso's family, but he rejected her. It seemed that Gariso was planning another surprise, because he met up with Zolega's father, where he got his blessing and began to put his plan in motion. Both families came together to finally surprise Zolega with a beautiful rooftop proposal. It was a bittersweet evening, with Katlero, who was still unwilling to have kids, agreeing to go her separate ways with Stelo. The episode ends with everybody dancing the night away as they celebrate Zolega and Gariso's engagement. It was a classic case of will they won't they, as both Zolega and Gariso couldn't help getting in the way of their own relationship. With Zolega's insecurity stemming from dating a serial cheater before, making her extremely paranoid, and Gariso was a bad liar and a poor communicator, which didn't really give their families an opportunity to like each other. The cast was all star, with South African actors who have had stellar careers for the past decade and more. The script was flowing with the perfect balance between English and local vernacular, something which I think Netflix's African content has been inconsistent with in the past. Something which a lot of people underestimate in filmmaking is the power of soundtracks and the sound effects, and I think they nailed it here. They struck the perfect tone. How to Ruin Love ultimately served as the perfect spin-off to How to Ruin Christmas. I anticipate that it will return for the wedding and so forth, similarly to how each season of How to Ruin Christmas had its own theme, which I think is genius. Burnt Onion has delivered again. This was a very inspired spin-off, but I believe it would have definitely had a bigger reception if it was released around Valentine's Day. South African romantic comedies are definitely becoming a hit for Netflix. I'd recommend you watch it with your partner if you have one, because mine was not too happy I watched it without her. But I did re-watch it with her, and it was just as enjoyable. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews. This is ASR, for the love of African filmmaking and storytelling.